Coming up next is an industry presentation by Mr. Vishwanath Jha, founder and chief executive officer at Sarthi.ai. This session is brought to you by our gold partner, Sarthi.ai. Mr. Vishwanath, the stage is all yours. So, as I mentioned, I'll be probably talking about the voice AI strategy for uh, collection uh, processes. Uh, not about voice bot per se, not about uh, you know, like chat bot per se, but about the collection agents, collection AI agents, uh, which are actually now replacing the human call center agents which were actually focused for collections. So, how many of you agree? Right? <laughs> It's a, lending is actually a collection business. Lending money is easy, right? But taking money out of somebody's pocket and putting it in your pocket, it's an art, right? It's a very difficult art. Uh, then uh, the follow-up thing is that collection is actually risky. When I say risky, what it means is like, you know, you expect them to behave in a manner like a gentleman or gentlewoman will behave but <laughs> it's very seldom the case, you know, that's, that's how. You have definitely the good customers who actually pay up before time. But, you know, like there are some customers who are on the other extreme, and then there are somewhere in between uh, who actually need little, some sort of nudges, timely nudges possibly, I should say. Uh, if, there's, if there's a nudge on time, they may be, you know, more uh, prone to make payment on time, right? So, what happens today? The erstwhile, uh, the collection strategy that generally we see, uh, I mean, we have been following it up, nothing changed much. Uh, SMS and heavily relied on telecallers doing the collection job, you know, for example, and that is the worst part actually, honestly speaking. That is the uh, limit of human intelligence sometimes I would say, uh, because, uh, you know, like for, let me take, give you a two contrasting persona and then probably I'll try to, you know, like uh, put things in context. So there's one guy uh, who has been your customer for, let's say, like two years, okay? And out of 24 installments, he paid 24 on time, okay? Comes the 25th installment. This guy genuinely met an accident, lost job or anything like that. And he's generally not able to make the payment this time around, right? But he's a good customer, you know, because you have, your, you have the history of the customer, right? But then your agents, they don't know that, right? They keep on calling them, they keep on pestering them, until and unless you lose the customer. So all the customer acquisition cost that you actually incurred, that is like flushed down the drain, right? And then the other side comes, the other extreme. There's some guy, well, you know, M0 bucket, very first uh, month you have given the loan and the first installment he's supposed to pay. You don't know nothing about it except the credit score, right? So here, little precarious situation, you want to know, you know, like early, try to, you know, like make relationship with the customer. But again, the agents behave the way they are, you know, standard scripts, no personalization, right? And then if you go further, the collection strategies, they are manual every month. You segment the customer, this particular bucket, this particular strategy, do the mapping, mental math, right? A lot of mental math. Uh, then comes the campaign side. You ran a campaign, right? I mean, you, are, you have been running the campaign, but how do you analyze? Like 2% of the calls, like two calls in a week per agent, and then you extrapolate the behavior based on that? Is the right thing to do? Maybe not. Or uh, maybe certainly not, right? So this is, these are some of the challenges, right? And then you come to the behavioral aspect, behavior tracking. When I say behavior tracking, what, what do I inf you know, like mean? Um, for example, if there is a customer who is in DPD 15 to 30 bucket, when I say DPD, I mean just for those people who are not belonging to a FinTech segment, due pass date, okay? So if the customer belongs to DPD 15 to 30 bucket, and you have tried calling the customer like three times, and every time within ringing, with just about after ringing, the ring starts, within three seconds if the customer cuts the call, most likely he's not gonna make the payment. And that's an early signal. So, but what do you do? I mean, there, I mean, there is nothing, no construct as of now available which you can use to, you know, like, 
solve this problem preemptively, right? And then comes the, uh, just a sec, yeah. Yeah, the hit and trial pitches. When I say hit and trial pitches, these are agents, human agents. Day in, day out, they are just calling people, you know. They also get tired. And uh, it's very difficult to keep track of so many personas. Somebody might be very emotional, you know. Paise nahi dunga. I won't give. Do whatever you want. Somebody might be like, just I have lost my job, maybe give me like a couple of days, uh, I'll make the payment, right? So there is different type of customer persona and the way you tackle every persona is very different. It has to be personalized. But these agents can't do in real time, right? Uh, and expecting them to behave like a superhuman is also not fair, you know, ex expectation. Also, what happens, most of the time when you hear the collection calls, uh, the, when the agent calls, right, the customer, and the customer would say, Are, wo to dukaan pe nahi hai. Anna? Ya, you know, main unka bhai bol raho, unka beta bol raho. Anna? Ya, somebody else, right? Not the right party contact. But the agent has got no construct to verify, right or wrong, right? Another problem. But these are some of the challenges that we face today, right? I mean, the, some of the conditions, collection strategies that, you know, we follow. Now the challenges part we should see. Talked about personalization, zero. I mean, at most what you do is like buckets. Uh, but in buckets, what is the customer persona? You don't know. The emotion, you don't know. There is no personalization on based on that. Scattered omni-channel experience, yes. What do I mean by that? Uh, particularly, I mean, you know, this is like a communication problem, right? I mean, enterprises are trying to reach out to customer for collection across channel. You send SMSs, you, call, you make calls. If the, uh, if the customer doesn't respond, you send email, legal notice. You know, you send it out. But does it work? You know, because you don't know what time you should say, send what thing, right? It's order. Uh, which channel first, then you next, then next, you know, which bucket. So these are some of the challenges that we still see uh, in the current strategy. Operational transparency. Since you already outsource it, so no access to files. Uh, no conversation transcripts, no call summaries. At most, what you get is call disposition, right? And then comes the, the much talked about the multilingual aspect. Uh, how do you engage the multilingual co community or the customer that you have, right? So, multiple things. I mean, you know, what's the point of sending somebody an SMS in English or a legal notice in English if the customer doesn't know English? I mean. I mean, expecting this that it will work is like, you know, it doesn't make sense at all, right? So that is one of the, another challenge. And since it is manual, you know, it's human. I mean, somebody who has got 100-seater call center, overnight, he can't make 500 concurrent calls. That's a problem. I mean, that's a human limitation or the infrastructure limitation that you see, isn't it? And then, if at all, if at all you are doing everything right, and the customer happens to be, uh, maybe I would not say the right customer, and he complains that the UCC part, ki, okay, I, I, why these guys are making me, uh, I have registered on DND, and these guys are making, uh, giving me calls and making promotional offers to me. Now the entire system, you know, is go haywire and panic, right? Enterprises panic, ki, you know, because the try regulations. I mean, regarding voice bots, it's not much, pretty, pretty much clear. So that's a separate a gray area that often, you know, the uh, enterprises or the fintech parts basically they face. Now, wait no longer. That is what the whole context was. <laughs> Ki, these are the things of past. Uh, now we have something called uh, Pravid. What is Pravid? Pravid is omnichannel, multilingual, communication platform, Tailor made for collection. It's tailor made for collection. Not trying to be everything for everyone, going deep into sector, identifying the problems, trying to solve. Because voice AI, you know, is not a simple problem, we all know. And on top of that, conversation. <laughs> it's a cognitive ability. If you are trying to replace human agents, with a contact center AI agent, you are basically trying to solve a Turing test, right? To a certain extent. So, 
Keeping this in mind, we figured out that this was going to be a big problem for all the, this was a common problem that we faced, you know, whenever we talked to multiple customers across the globe. We found out that this is, collection is one of the major pain points. They have no operational visibility. So they needed some sort of a single unified platform where they can manage and, you know, uh, control the entire collection process very transparently. You know. So that's where we, the genesis of Pravid happened. Uh, single UI, basically, all the transcripts, files, audio files that are being generated, you get access there. Campaign analytics, I mean, somebody said, okay, I'll make payment on 23rd. Somebody may say payment on 31st. Somebody said maybe February 1st. You don't know, the visibility is not there. You, you have a disposition that this guy will make the payment, PTP date he has given. But a, a consolidated view, that how, when do you expect how much money? Nobody knows, right? So that kind of visibility deep down insights that's there. On the payment side, if the payment, the customer has tried to make payment, open the payment link, but drop down. Why? Is it because of the payment gateway issue or your app related issue or anything? It could be anything. So getting that kind of insight is also there that we already provide. And on top of that, the best part is that the customer behavior, the, the example that I was giving, profiling the customer. I mean, uh, whether he's picking up the call, when he's picking up the call, after picking up the call, how much time does it take for him to make the actual payment, so on and so forth. You go deep down the train, right? That's, that's how we, uh, the analytics part is. And then the buckets. So, I mean, I'll talk a lot of, little bit of jargon from uh, the collection side, buckets, cohorts. So this is like pre-due customers, due date customers, post dupe or post bounce if you go in deep to post bounce you find dpd 1 to 3 3 to 7 7 to 14 14 to 21 so on till the act enterprise actually declares the customer as npa then also you have a communication touch point you call the customer for npa settlement so the entire journey is there so we identified that and for each of the uh, buckets we identified the pre tested collection strategies that actually works and this, techno this uh, overall strategy that we learned is actually a result of different customers that we worked with. Different customers, I mean, like we have more than 3,000 different customers and we are calling more than 1 million people every month. So the kind of behavior, the kind of data that we generate, that gives us insight to design what works and what doesn't work. And that insight basically we distribute across the enterprises so that they, ca they have the less delinquency and the cost of collection is also down with use of AI, which is the natural expectation from any AI system, right? Uh, the insights basically, if you talk about the numbers, the collection that we do, uh, the cost of collection that we have brought down. So it's very, I mean, it's the, this is the least value proposition. Like uh, the cost side of it is very, I, I see that obviously a lot of enterprise see it as a uh, significant value. But in our experience, it has been like one of the one of the parameters, one of the decision-making variables. More than that, what is important is to have transparency as well as the control, agility. To if the campaign is working, which we are suggesting, well and good. If it is not working, does the CRO or the collection manager or people or collection stakeholders they have the ability to craft a campaign, craft nudges, right? and what time they want to do, give it, right? That, if that flexibility is there, so that solves a lot of manual labor that currently these collection stakeholders face today, right? So who is Pravid Taylor made for? So primarily uh, four personas, uh, the uh, chief risk officer, CRO, who actually you know, sees or approves the collection strategy, you know, those kind of aspects. Then comes the head of collection, campaign manager, and the collection manager. So their workflows, their daily work, what they have done, we automated that. And this is what you know, generated a lot of value for us. And uh, the platform actually is the result of their feedback. Most, and so next, I would want to discuss a little bit more about ki why particularly more Pravit, although I have discussed more of, uh, more, most of the things. So it is cost effective. Yes, it is cost effective. Uh, I mean, everybody knows about it. That's why we use AI, or we are talking about voice AI, and we are having this conference. Uh, the end-to-end -end cycle is very important. Again, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, it's not about voice bot. It's about collection agent. And collection agent, which has understanding of the full life cycle. It doesn't work in silos. Okay? And then the rate. 
So we are 21% faster than human agent, by the way. Uh, we are 90% cheaper than human agents, but we are 21% faster in terms of collection. Quick setup, 30 minutes on our platform. Uh, you, you are a credit card company, you are a loan product company, you are an app-based lending platform. Visit our website, 30 minutes, we set up your account and you, you completely digitally transform your collection process. So that's the value proposition. Personalized timely nudges, as I, was, as I was saying, because most of the things we have recommended based on the intelligence that we have gathered from our interactions. However, if there are things which doesn't work and you have some sort of uh, understanding where you think that your strategy might work better than our strategy, so you have the freedom and you can do that. Some of the believers, the early visionary enterprises who believed us and who worked with us are these people. Uh, I would like to take a moment and thank them uh, for the support. Uh, I think that that's pretty much sums up my talk and if you have any questions, so I'll be more than happy to take them.